Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we'll do a tutorial on Be With You uh, by City Harvest Church. Uh, we'll do it in the key of G. And if you haven't done so, please do subscribe to the channel. I'll play it once and we'll break it down into parts. Alright, so let's break that down into parts. The intro... Alright, so that beginning uh, on the first string, we're going to play the... Uh, hit the 7th and then the 8th. And then we're going to hold that C this way. Uh, the paint thumb on the 8th uh, fret. 8th uh, fret on the 6th string. And the 1st string is on the 7th fret. Okay, so it's... Okay, so the 1 and the 6th the string together. And then hit that 3rd string, which is open. Okay, and then we go into... Second string, the tenth fret with the pinky, and uh, and the ninth fret. Uh, I'm sorry, the eighth fret. Okay, and then we go into the D. Okay, so it's so the D hit the fourth, third. Okay, and then the first, and then the pinky on that uh, the D sus here. So the pinky goes on to the first string, third fret. Okay, so it's okay. All right, so it's and then we go into the B minor seven, the first string and the fifth string. So it's uh, one, three, and then two, three. Okay, so from the top. Okay, and then we go to the E minor. Okay, the E minor, the arpeggio there is uh, one and six together. Three, two, three. After that, it's the A minor. Okay. The A minor, it's a uh, second and the fifth string. And then lift up that index 
finger on the second string so it's open now. And then put that index finger back to the first fret. So it's okay. So we're all we're playing the second string only, so it's okay, and the pinky goes on to the the second string, uh, the third fret. So it's one, open, one, and third fret there. Okay, so let's play up to that part from the top. Then, okay, and then after that we go into the D. Okay, so it's uh, with the D sus pinky on the third fret first string. Okay, so it's one and three, and then lift up that pinky for the D. Okay, so it's one and three again. So it's then into the G. That G is for uh, one measure, four beats. So it's arpeggio there is one and six. One, three, two, three. One, three, two, three. Okay, that's the intro. So from the top. So now let's go into the uh, the verse. Okay, so that G we're playing. Okay, so sixth string and the fourth string for one beat and then the second string twice and then uh, fourth, third, and second. And then I want to slide from third pinky, from third fret to the fifth fret and then back to the third for the, for the uh, G over B. Okay, so with the pinky on the second string sliding it back to the third. Okay, so from the top is uh Okay. All right, so the next the G over B uh, we're going to play Okay. So that part is um, mm, the second and the fifth together and then uh, four three, four, and then back to the second. And that second note there, uh, second string, uh, hold that for one and a half beat. And then, so it's open second, and then the first fret going into the D minor. All right, so from the top. So the D minor part is okay, so second, third, and then back to second twice. Okay. And then we'll go into the G. Okay, and that G is the second string, uh, the third fret here, and bass together. And then second string on the first fret. And then second string open, and then back to the third. Okay, so everything is on that second string. So it's okay, All right? So from the top. Okay. 
So that C part, we're playing the second string and the fifth together. So it's second, it's four, and then three, four, and then again, second, four, three, four. Okay, so let's take it from the G. go into the A minor. A minor is for, for two beats, so it's okay, so it's second and fifth together, and then third string twice, and then third string one more time, open. Okay, so it's into the D. So on that D, we're playing, okay, it's for two beats, so third and the fourth together for one beat, and then second and third for one beat together, okay, so it's from that um, A minor, it's okay, and then we go into the uh, B minor seven. All right, so hold it this way, just like a G over B, and then you're going to hit the uh, first string and the fifth string together, and then the second string twice, and then the third time is open, okay? So it's also for two beats, so it's... Okay, lift that pinky up so that second string is open, and then we go into the E minor. So we'll play this for two beats as well, so it's... Okay, it's for two beats as well, so it's third string and the sixth string together for one beat, and then second and third. Okay, so from that A minor again. And then we go back to the A minor. Okay, so next is the A minor. So we're gonna take that index finger off again. So you're only holding the sec, uh, the third and the fourth string. Okay, so we're doing the same thing, second and fifth. So it's okay. So it's second, and then the third string twice. And then you can add that one note there, the uh, on the fourth string there, so it's, okay, and then repeat, and that first string is open, okay, and then we go into the D. So that D, uh, the ending on that verse is uh, for one measure, so for the first verse, you can play uh, the four, four arpeggio, uh, Okay, so it's that uh, uh, one and four together. One, three, two, three. One, three, two, three. Okay, and then we go back into uh, the verse, second verse. All right, so let's take that uh, ending from uh, the A minor, I trust in you, okay? It's... back to uh, the verse, which is the second verse. Um, so the second verse is exactly the same as the first, except the ending on that D, we played just now the uh, four beats. We're going to play three beats and then add on the fourth beat, going to the chorus. So it's okay. So the arpeggio is the same. It's a uh, uh, one, three, two, three, one, three, and then that third uh, fret on the second string. Okay, so the chorus goes. Okay, so we're playing uh, the first and the 
six string together, right? So it's one, three, and then we move it to the third fret. Okay, you don't have to play the bass there, so it's one and three. So it's with the bass here. And then on the second string, a second fret, play the bass again. One and three again, and then two and three. Okay, so it's okay. Then we go into the uh, B minor seven. B minor arpeggio is okay, so it's a. Uh, Second and the fifth together, so it's two, four, three, four, one, three, two, three. Okay, and then we go into the E minor. We're gonna just play the first string uh, on the fifth fret with the bass note, so it's one and three and then we go to the third fret and then it's one and three again and then to the second fret with the bass this time one and three and then we move to the third fret and then one and three again okay so it's like this okay so from the top the uh, chorus D minor. Okay, so that D minor part, we're gonna hit the we're on the seventh fret on the first string, and then with the bass note on the fourth string. So together. Okay, we're playing that three times, and then the fourth, we're moving it, sliding it to the uh, eighth fret. So it's okay, and then we go into the G. We're going to stretch that. All right. So let's take it from the top there. You notice I, I did a little slide there from uh, on that D minor. So from the fifth fret, uh, you can slide to the seventh. And when you slide from the fifth, you hit that bass note together, which is a fourth string. G is a one and three, and then one again, slide to the eighth, and slide back to the seventh, and then we're gonna hit the C. That C part, the first string and the fifth string together, and then lift the pinky, play that twice, so it's uh, expect that D minor one more time. Sliding it from, so there is uh, the fifth fret, right? And then third, twice, slide from the fifth to the seventh again. Okay, okay, so that part after the C, we're going to the D5. Okay, so hold the D5 and play the first and the fourth together, and then second string and then open which is on the second fret now on the first string and then the 
third, back to the second. So it's okay, and then we go into the the B minor seven. Okay, so that part is uh, hold the uh, you can hold the G over B actually, and then just uh, play the one and the fifth together. One, three, and then. Two, three. Okay, so it's okay. And then we go to the E minor. The arpeggio there is uh, one, three, two, three. Okay, it's for two beats. All right, so it's from that D, from that D. Okay, and then we go into the A minor. So the A minor is uh, okay. So one open one okay open. So it's and then one more time. But this time we're playing instead of the open, we're sliding to the seventh fret on the first string. So it's All right, so we're sliding it to the seventh fret, right? And then back to the D5. Okay. So it's So the arpeggio there for that D5 is uh, okay, and then we're gonna go into the second chorus. So it's one and the fifth, fourth together. One, three, two, three, and then one, three, and then second string twice. Okay, and then we go into the uh, chorus, beginning of that chorus again. Okay, so let's take it from the top of that chorus up to that part, first chorus. So now we go into the chorus number two, and it's it's the same except the ending. So the beginning is the same. Okay, that part it's the same up to that part, and then we're gonna play one. Okay, so it's, and then we're gonna play one again, slide it to the uh, eighth fret. Okay, so this part is what just played in the intro. That's what I played in the intro, that part. So it's, Arpeggio there is one, three, two, three, and then do a sus at a um, index finger on the here on the uh, second string. So it's okay, so it's two with the bass, two, four, three, four. Okay, so it's
And that's it. I hope that was uh, helpful in any way. And I hope to see you on the next tutorial.